Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. So in today's video, I'm going to be upgrading the memory in this little machine here. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen this machine before. This is the HP T620 Plus uh, Thin Client Machine. And these are wonderful little uh, light duty PCs. And what's so awesome about them is that they're really cheap uh, on eBay because they're getting retired from corporate environments. But uh, what makes some of these thin clients really useful is that they have this PCI slot. And in this case, I've got a quad port uh, network card in there because this was uh, set up as a PFSense firewall. But of course, being a general PCI slot, you could really expand this to do uh, various other types of duties. Now, today I'm going to be upgrading the memory in this box, but I'm going to go uh, a little bit beyond the specs. So. This is the spec sheet from HP's website for the T620, uh, the normal T620 and the T620 Plus. Basically, there's a version of this that is thinner that does not have the PCI slot. That's just the T620, and the Plus is this one, which is a little bit thicker and has that PCI slot. Now, they basically are the same system. They're just a different chassis that allows for expansion. So, if you look at the spec sheet I've highlighted here in yellow, uh, the maximum stated memory is 16 gigabytes. Right? You'll see that across the board. This one is four gigabytes, uh, and I suspect that's probably a limitation of the operating system that's listed here. But uh, for everything else, it's basically 16 gigabytes in a eight gigabyte by two module configuration. Okay, so what I find is that a lot of times when these spec sheets are getting written, they're written at the time that the product is released, and they're not usually updated. So at the time this product was released, um, the maximum available DIMM modules uh, in this configuration was probably eight gigabytes. And what I find is that over time, as uh, new memory modules, denser memory modules come out, Oftentimes the spec sheets don't get updated, and but the hardware might actually be capable of uh, doing more. And so that's what I'm going to test out today. I've bought myself these guys. Uh, they are 16 gig modules. There's actually two of them in here. Let me show you that. All right. So I bought this from somebody on eBay, and they packed it like this. Um, but anyway. It, that's fine, it survived. That This thing was really meant for one module. Uh, it was kind of a little bit bulgy, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I've got two 16 gigabyte modules, and this is the right spec uh, as far as memory speed and memory type and all that for this thin client, but it obviously exceeds the stated specification. And so I want to try this out and see if this machine can go beyond the 16 gigabyte specification. Uh, if both of these modules work, then I'll end up with 32 gigabytes in this thin client. So let's go ahead and try to install this and then we'll power it on and see if it actually works. All right, so to open up this box, uh, you start with removing this back plate. It just kind of pops right out. You have to, uh, let's see if I can get in the camera here, but you have to uh, release this little latching mechanism. So anything you see that's green means that you have to uh, fiddle with it. Anyway, that opens that up, and then you simply pop this uh, cover uh, off to the side like that, okay? And then it should come right off, all right. So now with the cover off, again, look for the green um, components. And so this part pulls back and allows the fan module here to open up. And again, I've, I have a quad port NIC in here, which I'm gonna to have to remove because the memory is underneath here. So let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, I'll put that aside. So the memory modules are uh, under this uh, shielding here and it's held on by two screws which are loose enough that I can actually open just with my thumbs. 
Sometimes they're not, and uh, there's a Phillips head on it, so you can get a screwdriver to loosen up these screws if they're a little too tight for um, just using your fingers. All right, is that loose enough? Let's see here. All right, so that looks like it's loose enough, and then you just remove it. All right, so right now there is a single uh, DIM module in here. I believe that's a four gig module. And so we're gonna be exceeding uh, that capacity by quite a lot. Um, we're gonna have 16 gig modules in each. So let's go ahead and remove this module first. All right. Okie doke. Alright, the first 16 gig module is going in. Okay, I believe that's in. And now for the second module, going in this slot here. Press that down, and that's in. All right, let's go ahead and put the shielding over it again. All right, let's go ahead and tighten the screws. All right, that's finger tight. And uh, let me put the PCI card back in. I think with this much memory, I'm probably not going to use this as a firewall anymore, but um, let me just go ahead and put that in anyway for now. I can always change that out later. But yeah, for a firewall, you probably don't need uh, 32 gigs of RAM. But if you wanted to use this for other purposes, uh, where you have an application that might be able to take advantage of uh, that amount of RAM, um, you know, I, I mainly I just want to see what the possibilities are with this. Um, and there's also another model that I'm going to uh, share with you guys in a later video. There's a updated model to this T620 Plus that's called the T730, and it has a much more powerful processor. So the, the possibilities with that thin client machine um, are a lot more, um, well, there are a lot more possibilities of what you can do with it. This is a great little kind of mini desktop machine. Uh, it's certainly great as a little uh, firewall router machine. And even as a firewall router, if you're doing a lot of uh, IPS or IDS type of stuff, you might need the memory. So uh, it's nice to know how much memory this machine can actually take. All right, let's close this guy up. The lid goes back on. Just remember that this little thing that sticks out here uh, faces the back. And you have to put this on slightly offset and then slide it in. And be sure to secure that latch again, uh, otherwise the back plate doesn't really uh, go on correctly. All right, and the back plate, you basically slide in these uh, three tabs into the right side here and then just kind of slowly press it down until all the clips are fully engaged. All right, so now we've got the memory in this machine. Let's go over to the lab and power this on and see if it actually accepts that memory. All right, let's boot this machine up. I'm gonna get in the BIOS. Okay, and system information, memory size. Looks like it took it. That's 32 gigs or 3276 megs, or 70, 3276 8 megs, which is 32 gigabytes of um, memory. All right, let's boot this into an operating system and just kind of double check that. I'm going to boot this into a Linux uh, installed on a USB drive. This is CentOS uh, 7. All right, let's go ahead and log in here. 
and I'll run this command called I, INXI that will tell me about the memory uh, or the hardware configuration. And so here under memory, you'll see total RAM 30.7 uh, gigabytes. So that's more or less 32 gigabytes. Um, there's two DIMMs. It identifies them as DIMM 0 and DIMM 1. Each is uh, 16 uh, gigabytes and they're running at 1600. So it does look like this machine will accept 32 gigabytes, which is more twice as much as what the original HP specification said. All right, so let's um, let's start running a mem test on this. All right, so memory 31, so it's roughly 32 gigabytes. It's uh, this is memtest 86 plus, and it's just going to run uh, a variety of memory test patterns on the RAM. So, but I'm not seeing any errors so far. I will let this uh, run to completion, but it does seem that the HP T620 Plus, uh, and I suspect that the, the thinner version, the T620 will as well, because I think they're basically the same motherboard, if I'm not mistaken, um, will take a total of uh, 32 gigabytes of memory. So this kind of opens up some new possibilities. If you want to use this little thin client machine, um, to do other things, uh, possibly even as a uh, small virtualization um, server, and it runs extremely quiet. It's running right next to the mic right here. I, I doubt that you guys are going to hear it over my voice because it's, this machine is just so incredibly quiet. So if you need a low-powered machine with lots of memory, this is certainly uh, an interesting option. All right, I wanna let this uh, run all the way to completion. I won't, this is gonna take a while. This usually takes a few hours, so I'm not going to um, keep recording this, but I will show you uh, the final results when this is done. All right, guys, so I hope you liked this video, and um, I hope this uh, confirms to you that th these machines can take more memory than um, they were originally specified by uh, HP. And, uh, and hopefully that's useful to you. All right, so anyway, um, give me a like if you like this video and be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. All right, bye-bye, thanks.